Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Lou Free Free Studio and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I appreciate you joining me. Today I am going to um, alter these french fry bags or cookie bags or you know they look like a french fry bag and they're just brown like parchment paper kind of things and I am going to hopefully make these load them up and make what's in my fry bag better than what comes in McDonald's fry bag. So let's start by altering this. Um, I got these on Etsy and I've had them a while and I can't remember the seller that I purchased them from. I will look that up and put it in the description box um, if I can find it, because it has been a while since I've uh, bought them. So, the first thing that I did was I took the bag and I cut off this part to make it even. And the main reason I did that is because I embossed the bags and I that I didn't want that little flap taking up space in my embossing folder. I used this embossing folder, which is an old, old one. It's from Sizzix time from the Ellison machine. And it came with my Big Shot because I bought my Big Shot off eBay. And it had a bunch of embossing folders with it. And this one came with it. So, I don't have any idea if it's still available. I don't have the pack that it came in. So, I can't give you a number um, or anything like that. But this is what it looks like. You may be able to find it on eBay or some, some place like that. But, I ran it through my embossing or my Big Shot. I didn't do anything to it, and you can see it turned out really cute. So, um, the only thing you have to be careful of is it does make the front and the back stick together, because so you kind of have to pull that apart gently, you know, once you've done it. So, that's the first step. The second thing that I did was I made a flower using tracing paper, deli sandwich paper and some lace and I just cut some circles out on the die cut uh, on the big shot and I used this die that I had um, and it's the one that has several size circles and this circle is a two inch circle Okay, so I cut several of those, and then I hand cut some circles out of lace. And the lace that I use for that is this. It just comes on roll, and I think I got this at Joann's, so it is not vintage. Okay, so um, for each flower, I used four this color, I used three this color, and I used two lace ones, all right? So, and I just alternated. I did, you know, a white one, a brown one, a white one, a lace one, a brown one, a white one, and then I think I did a brown one, a white one, a lace one. It doesn't really matter. Um, actually, no, that's not it. Because I want, I want a white on top. Brown.
So maybe I just did three and three and then two. You get the point. Just kind of alternate them, alternate them so that you have a stack. Okay. And then I just took my little pokey tool, poked a hole in the middle, and then I just took a brad. And you could use anything for the center of these. I just used a brad. Cut it in there. Opened it up. And then... I just crinkled it. Made it all crinkly. And again, you could leave this closed up so that it looks like that, or you can kind of flatten it back out. And you got a real pretty little flower. And then we're going to take some finished photo and just kind of age up the edges a little bit. You could also spray these with coffee if you wanted. I think they'd be fine because you've got the the tracing paper and the deli paper. Both are pretty sturdy paper, so they can take some abuse and they wrinkle great and they sound great. Okay, so that's that step. The next thing I'm going to do is, how is everybody? I'm not even asking. I'm just jumping right in. I'm excited about this project. Not so much for the bag. I like the bag. I like the way the bag came out a lot. But I'm really excited about what's going inside. Um, This is just flat lace. It doesn't have any elastic. No ruffles. No nothing. Just a flat lace. And I store my lace on these vintage bobbins because I have a ton of them. I got at a an estate sale for somebody that used to work at a um, knitting mill that's here in town. And they had gotten a bunch of them from their work. And they were selling them. And I grabbed them. There's like a whole basket full of them. So we're going to put that there and we're going to put that there. And I'm just going to use a little fabric tack and I'm going to glue this like a belly band. And you'll see why in a minute. Uh-oh. Got glue strings. Glue strings. Not good. I'm going to put that more or less in the middle. And then... I'm going to stick this little tablet down in here while that's drying for a minute so that my front and back don't stick to each other since this bag is kind of thin. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down so we can let it be drying. All right, now, cute, huh? Now, the reason I left this belly band is I have this heart that I am going to assemble and put on here. And this is just a 
piece of German book page and with a piece of coffee dyed paper on the back just to give it some extra sturdiness. On the back side. And then this is just a piece of coffee dyed paper that is out of the same die cut. And it is one of the really thick Sizzix die cuts. I think it's called something like Tipsy Hearts. I think is the name of it. And it's, you know, one of the thick ones. Um, so it's an older one as well. But I'm sure that most of you have die cuts of some kind of hearts. And then this is a stamp. It's just a little stamp that I picked up. It's a real cute stamp in it. I just stamped that heart. Okay, and then I am going to put a grommet, and it's one of the teeny tiny ones, and I got a black one. I'm going to put it over in one of the corners. Like that. And then I'm going to take a piece of this vintage cotton thread that I have on my little spool here. And I'm going to put it through the hole. Not. You can do this however you want or use whatever you want if you want to use ribbon or and then I'm going to stick that down in the little belly band and that should be dry enough now not to make a um, stick. And then I have set some cardstock to fit down in there. And the purpose of the cardstock is just to give some stability for what I'm going to put in here. And so I just picked something that I thought matched well with the pocket or French fry bag. I'm going to ink around it. I'm going to ink around our bag a little bit, and I'm using Vintage Photo for that. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. have to stick something down in there because remember how I said they stick together those little side pieces there stick when you run them through the embossing folder complete your sentence Tammy that'd be real nice all right let me Take my ruler here. Make sure I get all the way to the sides. Okay. Now it should go in there. I know it fits because I've already done one. There we go. All right. 
So there is our little altered french fry bag, which, you know, in my opinion, is adorable on its own. And it can be used in a journal and, you know, anything stuffed down in there. But what's in the french fry bag, you say? Well, just let me show you what are going to be, what is going to be in my french fry bag. This is the first one that I did. And this is what is in my french fry bag. So if you pull it out, you have this little packet. And it is tied up with a little vintage button and a little made with love heart. And you can untie it. And this, this is just a faux piece of little flower that I thought looked cute. It's not real. It's not dried. It's plastic. But I just thought it looked cute there. And I've wrapped it with just a coffee stained dually. I have one of my vintage little scrapbook pieces in a coin holder. I have a vintage, authentic vintage little advertising card. I have this little scrapbook piece. I have a vintage calling card and you can see where it was glued, actually glued down in an old scrapbook. I have another little vintage greeting card. This one says, Field Letter and Company, Chicago. And let's see, you can see it's an upholstery advertising card from Chicago. And you have a vintage hanky that has been pressed. Okay, and that's all wrapped up together in these little McDonald's. <laughs> They're not McDonald's. <laughs> these little french fry bags. We've got McDonald's on the brain now, which is hilarious because I never go out to eat. Hardly ever. And if it did, it wouldn't be McDonald's probably. Even though I do like their and let's see if I can get this back in here quickly if not I will do it off camera there we go maybe I didn't get all the strands. So now it's a mess. Okay, we'll have to do that later. But anyway, um, that's what's in my french fry bag. And... I am going to have six of them. They're all going to vary. Here are some of the different napkins, or napkins, handkerchiefs. And here are some of the little sets I put together. And you can see they're all going to vary a little bit because these are all original pieces. So, um, if you are interested in these, you know, be sure and pay attention to the pictures so that you get the one that you're really interested in. 
and um, what I will do is I will photograph them, um, you know, as they come for a set. For example, if I decide this napkin's going to go with this set, then I will photograph it, you know, like this so that you can see all the pieces. And then when I list it, you know, I'll list it in such a way that you can tell that you're getting this one. And, you know, they're, they're all going to be different. I've tried to get as close as I can to the same type of things. Um, for example, you'll get, you know, one of these in each set, no matter which one. And you'll get some version of these cards in each one. Um, I've tried to do one card with a, you know, a girl or a lady on it. And then one of the calling cards. So, but they are all vintage. So, remember that as well, um, is they are vintage. So, they're not going to be, you know, some of them aren't going to be perfect. I tried to pick some of the best ones that I had to put in these kits. But they're not going to be perfect because they have been in the scrapbook before. Um, so, a lot of them show you know, the glue places. Some of them have handwriting on the back, like where they got it from or who they got it from. And these, uh, all of these hankies are in really good shape. So, um, there's no stains that I saw. There is some fading, which is, you know, to be expected. But I didn't see any staining when I was ironing them. So there we go. That will be available. I'll try to get those done, done and listed this evening. And I apologize for my video being late. I got uh, sidetracked on a couple of projects yesterday and didn't get it posted. Oh, let me show you one more thing. you remember our little cover we did this past weekend? I, I saw it on Pinterest. I have it done. And um, I just put a couple of things on the inside. It's got, this is by uh, Ruby and Pearl, this little digital. And this is actually vintage. And then I made a tag and for one of the pockets I put a couple of tickets in here and then I have a digital which is also from Heather at um, Ruby and Pearl so just a cute little book for you to carry around with you if you want to and like I said the way that I put the signatures in they're just tied in and so, if you get it full, you can take it out, put more paper in, and still use the cover. Okay? I have six of those as well that are done. And they're all about the same. They all have some kind of vintage um, document, a digital vintage document. They all have a tag, they all have a picture, and they all have one of the... Um, little scrapbook pieces in them. This one's got a hanky on the front. Part of a hanky. That was one that was torn so I could take it apart without feeling too bad about it. That one's got cute little birds on it. Then we have this one. And we have this one. I love this one. The colors. I love the colors. And 
and this one. Okay, so I'll have these listed as well. I'll list them as the same time at the same time that I do um, the French fry bags. And I have a couple of other little stuff pockets that I'll be listing. So this evening, I will be busy listing everything. So please check it out. And, um, you know, find some fry bags. Cute pockets. Very cute. Very pleased with the way those are turning now. And you could, you know, alter these for whatever. I was kind of between this stuff and that, I was kind of going into Valentine's a little bit, getting a more, um, you know, shabby, romantic kind of thing um, to carry through Valentine's. So, um, these make great gifts for somebody for Valentine's Day, either one. And you could definitely use these little stuff pockets. Um, as a journal starter kit, no problem, because you can use, you know, you've got your handkerchief in there that you could use for the cover, um, and you've got a good start on some vintage ephemera to put on the inside, so I hope you guys like those. Leave um, a comment and let me know what you think, and again, I apologize for being late with the video, but better late than never, right? So, I will see you guys back on Tuesday for the Color Combo Challenge. And until then, no, I'm wrong. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, until then, everybody, continue to have a good weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye.